So these series of stretches you can use for either pre-skiing or post-skiing stretching. So what you'll see here is Shannon has an underlayer that she's rolled up to use for stretching. You could use a belt or any long garments that will allow you to stretch your arms. So Shannon's going to inhale, bring her hands up to above the head. And what you'll see here is Shannon's arms are engaged. They're stretching outwards and fully engaged. So we're working the shoulders and the chest. Shannon is now going to lower to the front. And so still pushing the hands away from each other, we're engaging the inner shoulders and inhaling, raising, and now lowering down behind the back. Now, the width of your garment should be so that your arms can remain straight. If they're bent, just let go that little bit more. Inhaling, raise, and exhaling lower to the front. Wrapping it up again. Inhaling, raise, good. And exhaling, lowering. So you can do this as many times as you need, just to open up the chest, open up the shoulders. The second option, Shannon, if you just come down once more behind the back, good, is then to inhale, raise, bring the hands to centre, so keeping them there, and then Shannon's now going to lower her left hand down towards me. Right hand comes high, so her right side body is now stretching. Inhaling, raise and exhaling lower. So again, the left side body from the hips to the shoulder is lengthening. For completeness, we'll just do this one more time on each side, inhale, raise, and exhale lower. Looking up towards your top hand, and lowering down to your right side, look up towards your left hand, good. Inhaling, coming to center. And just bringing the hands back down, and so Shannon, how are you finding that in terms of uh, an opener for the chest and the shoulders? Yeah, it feels really good. The one thing is want to make sure that you've got enough pressure so when you go up and over that you feel the shoulder blades pulling together to really open up the chest muscles. So I think it's really good. The side to side ones, good for the lower back, but still try to have that lifting motion. And when you come over side to side, the lower back often feels a bit tight after a day on the mountain, so this is an excellent pose to use before or after being on the slopes. Thank you, Tim.